the first time for me. Um, it's uh, quite an amazing experience being up here. Um, I want to ask a question about um, habits. Um, we have, well, I have good habits and I have bad habits and I'm trying to work out how I can adjust my habits so that they serve me more because I sometimes have difficulty with creating, doing things which can help me to be more, can help me to be more successful. Um, As you use the word habit, put with, put with that word momentum. And at the heart of all momentum is law of attraction. So when we say a belief is just a thought that you keep thinking, we could say a belief is a habit. And of course there are behavioral habits as well. So once you get a vibration going, that vibration will gather momentum until eventually that vibration, you'll start thinking more about it. You'll start speaking more about it and more things like it will begin manifesting in your experience. So you could say that the entire universe is habitual because the entire universe is based upon law of attraction. There's no exclusion in this attraction based universe. So when you say yes to this thing, this thing you want because you're saying yes, it comes. But when you say no to that thing, that thing you don't want comes too. Because law of attraction does not hear your words. It only responds to your attention. So when you say, I'm going to stop doing that, I'm going to stop. Do I have a bad habit and I'm going to stop doing it. We say, no, you're not. You're going to do it more because your attention is upon this thing that you don't want. I'm not, I'm not going to think about that thing that I don't want to think about anymore that I'm thinking about right now, but I'm going to stop thinking about that thing pretty quick here because I don't want to think about that thing. But law of attraction is saying, here's more of it. Here's more of it. Here's more of it. Here's more of it. So what you want to do, you want to slow the momentum somehow. So the way you slow momentum of anything, of any thought or of any behavior, but let's start with the thought. The way you slow the momentum is by becoming more general about it. The way you speed the momentum is by becoming more specific about it. So that's why we wanted to help this woman slow the momentum of her negative rampage that she had, the woman that we were talking on the telephone with, by talking about some general things that she really didn't have much momentum going. We knew we could start her. It's like pushing the reset button. You can start in a whole new place. So what happens is you find other things that feel better to you and you focus upon them more and more until they gain more momentum. Every subject is really two subjects. What is wanted on one end of the stick and the absence of what is wanted on the other end of the stick. Sometimes you think you're thinking about what you want, but you're really thinking about the absence of what you want. So the only way you can discern that difference is by the way it feels. You see what we're getting at? So I want to talk about a habit? Well, it's... We don't want you to. Yeah. <laughs> No, I because, because in talking about it, we activate it. We just, we just hold it longer, you see. So you want to talk about something else. And what we're getting at is that if there's something that you don't want, talking about its opposite seems prudent. It seems like the wise thing to do. It's just that you can't get there from there because every time you try to talk about it, you activate it where it really is. So you've got to find other things to think about that don't, that don't activate that. That's why, that's why we're, we're asking you to be unconditional for a little while, to think about emotions rather than specific subjects. We'll walk through this with you and we will demonstrate how it works if you want to take some subject. Okay. When I'm at work, um, I have a list of things to do and I know I have to do these things and I want to develop the habit of going through this list of tasks and I know you've spoken well, here's, about... Here's, here's the first thing that we want to say to you about this. When you do what you have to do, rather than what you want to do, you're not on your true path. If, if you want to do it, that means you're in sync with source. It, and that doesn't mean that everything you have to do, you don't want to do, because there are many things that you 
feel like you need to do that you really do want to do but so what you want to do is try to find the essence of it where it hooks in with source does that make sense to you so give us an example of something that you have to do and we're going to show you how to hook it in with your inner beings desire about it okay so I have to make calls to uh, sales calls um, I have to make I have to make sales calls and I don't really like doing it yeah and the reason I don't like doing it is briefly because they're um, they're tricky All right, that's um, enough so so <laughs> So, so I don't really want to do this, but so step deeper into it. Is there anything in there that you do want? In other words, you don't want that part of the process, but is there anything that you do want? I want the outcome of a successful call. All right. I want the outcome of a successful call. That's pretty far down the road though, isn't it? So, so, so step back a little bit more. Why do you want, let's think of the journey rather than the destination. So what, what does a successful call feel like? Is it only the outcome or can you feel the success of a call even before it is all the way come out? I guess I can. It's, and it's, what does it feel like when you're really in the midst of a compatible, comfortable phone call? It's flowing. Um, I feel relaxed. I feel a sense of satisfaction. All right. So is your satisfaction because you have found common ground with the person that you're talking to? So they're not resisting you? Yeah, absolutely. But what if, what if you got in the habit of finding such common ground with the source within you that whether you found it with the person on the other end of the phone became irrelevant to you? What if, what if you just really like the sound of your soothing voice and what and and what if what if you really like being the uplifter that you are what if you really genuinely want to enhance this person's life whether they're having any of it or not what if you really believe in what you're offering what if you really you know that you've got something of value for this person what if you know that whether it comes to any culmination with this specific person or not something good is going to happen right here and now what if what if you could feel the harmony of two humans co-creating on some level where you're conveying something of value to them what if what if you're such a happy person that just hearing you and feeling you on the other end of the line is an improvement in their life experience what if you've got such resonance with the source within you that you are more powerful than a million who do not have it and so you're conveying with such clarity your appreciation of life and your eagerness about what's coming that this person whether they go with you on what you're selling or not or not they feel better just having conversed with you for a little bit of time what if that don't you sort of want to make that phone call don't you sort of want to don't you want to sort of mine mine that for the nuggets don't you want to just get better and better at that don't you don't you want to go on that journey don't you don't you want to improve the way you feel don't you want to get a better bead on what your what your inner being is saying don't you want to know what your inner being knows about that perspective client perspective client that you don't know because if it's true what we say and it is the source knows where all of you are in relationship to what you want then wouldn't you like to receive the inspiration to say just exactly the right thing and don't you want to really mean it when you say hey I don't know if you want I don't know if you're interested in this or not but I know life is going to be good for you and I'd like to be a part of it but in any case I want life to be good for you don't you want to say that and mean that wouldn't you love to be on the other end of that and have someone say that and mean that to you wouldn't you like somebody tuned in tapped in turned on to call you on the telephone out of the blue wouldn't you like law of attraction to hook you up with someone like that wouldn't you like to say hello to someone like that and feel that energy coming through the telephone line Wouldn't you like that wouldn't you like to to feel the resonance within yourself wouldn't you like to ignite within them their alignment with the source energy within them and do you really care what the outcome is as long as this is feeling good right here and now 
And isn't it nice to know, knowing what you know about law of attraction, that you can't, as long as things like that are happening, that's just going to get better and better. Don't you really want to have experiences like that? Isn't human interaction, isn't that what it's all about? Don't you want to be connected to source and then in the vortex and then in vibrational alignment and then? But if you don't take the time to get aligned, so you don't really have anything to give them, then they sense that you don't really have anything to give them. And then the calls don't go that well. And then you don't want to make the calls. You can play this any way you want to. If we were standing in your physical shoes, we'd tune in and then we'd call them up. <laughs> that's, um, that's, that's so insightful because one of the things that I do want to do is to motivate and inspire people. Yeah. Um, I want to um, speak on stage and, and... And can you give them something you don't have in the moment? I guess I can, but what... No, you can't. You can't, gi you can't give them anything that you don't have. So if you don't feel like calling them, it's just as well that you don't. So the key sure. is you got to feel like calling them. So how are you going to feel like calling them? By thinking about the kinds of things we just talked about rather than by thinking about the specifics or the conditions of like what their response might be or what the statistics are or, or how many numbers you've got on the chart or how you're doing in relationship to others. I think about the outcome because I'm concerned about the future. But you see, there's the rub right there because there is never a future. There's only right now. Future never ever comes. It never comes. It's just now in alignment or not, now in alignment or not, now in alignment or not. And the more now is in alignment, then the brighter the future, but the future never gets here. It's just more now in alignment. It just gets more fun to call, more and more fun to call, more and more fun to engage, more and more fun to explain, more and more. There'll be more and more and more, but it's all now, 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 now. So, so when you get that and you really feel that and you really mean that and you really want to call, there are people who would like to feel what you feel. They would like to, they would like to feel that way. Ah, oh, lucky them. You, we picked you out of this big old room. Lots of people here. You liked, you liked us calling you, didn't you? <laughs> you got me. And you like, and you like how it feels as we visit because you're feeling resonance with the whole of who you are. With every word we speak, you're coming into alignment with who you are. Don't you want to give that to everybody you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. But here's the difference between us. We're always in alignment when we call. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good call. It's a good call. <laughs>